No, I don't never sleep much. I have to sleep with one eye open. I only got one eye, right? I'm 47, 47 years old, you know. I stay this alive this long and I don't know why, because I'll tell you why. All these years, fear. The spectacle of fearsome acts. Yeah, that's it. Fear keeps me alive. Somebody steals from me. I cut off his head. If he offends me, I cut off his tongue. He raises against me, I cut off his head and stick it in a pike. Raise it high up so that all the streets can see it. That's what preserves me, right? You know, fear. Yeah. You know, that one night, who was it? A nobody, a coward. What an ignominious end that would have been. I killed the last honorable man 15 years ago, you know. Since then, you seen this portrait downstairs? Is your mouth all glued up with Connie Lingus? I asked you a question. <laughs> oh, you got a murderous rage, you. And I like it. It's life boiling up inside you. It's good. The priest and me, that's what it's like, you know. We lived the same principles. It was only ten, this faith that divided us, you know. That's all it divided us with, his faith. He gave me this, you know, he gave me this. A priest. And I'll tell you why. You know, that was the finest beating I ever took. My face was pulp. My guts was pierced. My ribs was all mashed up. Yeah. And when he came to finish me, I couldn't look him in the eye. He spared me because he wanted me to live in shame. But you know, this was a great man. A great man. So I cut out the eye that looked away. I sent it to him wrapped in blue paper. You know, I would have cut them both out if we could have fought them blind. Then I rose back up again with a full heart and I buried him in his own blood. Yeah, he was the only man I ever killed worth remembering. I never had a son. Civilization is crumbling. So.